welcome back guys in the last lecture we have discussed about the event handling in functional components now in this video we are going to discuss the same topic event handling in class components so here the app.js is the functional component so when you create a new react application we will get one default component which is called as app.js component so that app.js component is a functional component here you can see function app now we need to create a new class component and we will apply all the event handling fun functions in that code means class component so here in the source folder i will create a new file with the name cc here the cc stands for functional class component not functional cc.js so first i will import the statements import react so after we have to write the component in curly braces component from react so after the import statement we have to write the class followed by the class name here the class name is cc which extends the react dot component extends react dot component so this react dot component is having a method called render in that render method only we have to return the html content so first i will return a div with h1 element event handling in class component now let's see the output so we have created the class component now we need to export it to the app.js component so first we need to write the export default cc now we have exported it from the class component we need now we need to add this in app.js component so here we need to add that in app.js import cc from here we have to write the file path of the cc that's it so i will remove the previous code from the functional components so i will remove all the default stuff we have only one h1 text i'll remove all the functions in the previous lectures so in the div i will add the newly created cc component cc slash greater than symbol so here we got an error your render method should have return statement so in the class component we forgot to add the return statement in the render method we have to write the return return now let's see the output here you can see the error has gone now let's see the output so we got the output event handling in react now we are performing the event handling in class component so the first event we are going to discuss is on click event as like the previous lecture only so first i will create a button in the cc button i will name it as click me so after that we have to write the on click equal to in the parenthesis we have to write the function name so before writing the function name we have to create the arrow function in the class component because function keyword cannot be written in the class component if you return if you write the function keyword it will show the error so we already discussed this thing in the previous lectures only we cannot write the normal javascript functions in class component suppose if you, if you write the function so get alert so here you can see it is raising the error we got an error unexpected token a constructor method accessor or property was expected so function keyword is not used in the class component we have to use the arrow functions so to use arrow function first we have to write the syntax with the name function name get alert equal to after that we have to write the parenthesis followed by the arrow so after that we have to write the curly braces in this curly braces only we have to write the function definition so here we have only one line in the function definition we have to get the alert with the message the button is clicked so here we have created the function successfully now we need to call this function after clicking the button so we have to write the get alert in this function 
get alert now let's see the output here you can see the button is added successfully after clicking this button we should get a alert with the message the button is clicked now i will click this button here you can see we got the alert the button is clicked so in the previous video we have performed the same thing using the functional component now in this video we are we are performing it in class components so it will be same for the input and the hover event also so i will write the input event input so for input we have to write the on change event on change is equal to first we will create one function arrow function input alert so this is the arrow function i will write the alert with the message the input text is changed now we need to write this function in the curly braces input alert that's it so before writing the function name we have to use the this keyword this keyword is mandatory in class component without this, this keyword it will raise the error so now let's see the output here we got an input element now let's write something in the input element so i will write j here you can see we got the alert with the message the input text is changed so if you press okay the j will be printed in the input element here you can see we got j i will write a again we got the alert v a yes so like this way we can get the alert in the on change event so if you remove the letter from the input field also it will show the alert so i will remove s from the input field here you can see we got the alert the s is removed so like this way we can perform the input element so the last event we are going to discuss is on hover event so on hover event is applied on h1 text so not only h1 text we can apply it on anything so for our convenience i will apply it on h1 text hover here to get alert so after that we have to write the on mouse hover event for this h1 text on mouse hover so first we need to create a function before calling it hover alert the h1 text is over h1 text is hover now we need to call this hover alert in this on mouse over event for the h1 element so this dot hover alert that's it now let's see the output here you can see we got the alert whenever you hover on the h1 text so once again i will hover on the h1 text here you can see we got the alert so like this way we can implement the event handling in functional component so the only difference between the event handling in class component and functional component is writing functions so in class components we have to write the arrow functions but in functional components we can write the both we can write the normal traditional functions and we can also write the arrow functions but we cannot write the normal traditional functions in class component this is the only difference while applying event handling in class components or functional components thank you